for the links in our menu or for the items here, I want to add links. Now, how does this work? Just as it works anywhere else, because sometimes it's hard to uh, keep this in mind, but we're, we're still in an, in an Angular app here. This is a normal Angular template. So of course you can use things like router link in here. And indeed we can. So we can add a router link here and go to places tabs discover for this first item. And for this second item here, I can add a router link and go to bookings. Because if you have a look at your app routing module, we got that bookings route that loads the bookings module. And uh, for log out, well there, I actually want to add a click listener and then do something else. And there I wanna trigger on logout and I will add an on logout method to my component here therefore. But I'll not do anything there at the moment, just have it there, uh, we'll add login and so on later in the course. So now if we save that, we should have some links here in that menu. So let's wait for the application to reload and let's try going to the bookings page. And it kind of works, here it is. But um, wouldn't it be nice if that menu closed after going there? Because right now if I go somewhere, if I click something, um, it stays open. Uh, by the way, for logout, you also see we got no animation when I play this, when I click this. Uh, reason for that is by default, an iron item is not a button. Um, the click will still be registered and will still execute on logout. But to have that nice ripple animation, you should add button here uh, as an attribute to iron item. But this is not related to the issue of the menu not closing. It will just fix that when this page reloads, we now get a ripple effect here too. But what about closing the menu when we select an item? For that, we got two options. One option is we could add our own click listener, inject the menu controller, and then manually call close. You learned how that would work. But to me, that sounds really cumbersome. There is a way easier way of doing that. There is a special component Ionic gives you. You can wrap your list items or anything in your app anywhere that should close or should toggle to be precise the main menu with iron menu toggle. The difference to iron menu button is that this will now not render um, a hamburger and open the menu, instead it will render nothing, but you can wrap it around anything that should toggle the menu. Doesn't have to be inside of the menu, by the way. You could have this anywhere in your application. Now, of course, I and menu toggle also takes a menu attribute in case you're using an ID on your menu so that, that you can tell Ionic which menu you're trying to toggle. If you don't set an ID, it will use the main menu it detects. And I will simply wrap I and menu toggle around all my list items here so that they all will close the menu when I press them. Here I am. So now with iron menu toggle wrapped around all items, now as this reloads, the menu closes when I tap one of these icons. So let's now make sure we also fix that bookings page here and add the menu icon there too. First of all, I'll set the title to your bookings and then here I'll add iron buttons with a slot of start and in there add the iron menu button. And uh, now we will be able to open the menu from inside our bookings as well. So let's wait for this to finish. Discover places, bookings, all working just fine. So this is now how we can add such a side menu, not too difficult as you can tell, and really powerful with all these special components and with the menu controller that allow us to control the menu from anywhere on our page.